The idea came one night right about here. What's up, guys? Live video has just become possible from everyone's smartphone. And people were just starting to experiment with it on social media. One day, I was slipping back and forth from a live video to a travel video. Live, travel, live, travel. Then, we had a thought. What if we could broadcast live from locations all around Asia? A boat on the Mekong, a motorbike in Hanoi, a jet ski in the ocean, a roller coaster. And that didn't work. What if we could make live video look and feel like a movie? And what if we could use the interaction of live video in the funnest way possible to give away free flights to the audience? A live travel game show. The next morning, Adventure Live was born. Six cities in six weeks, all completely live. Each live adventure would have to be interesting enough to keep our audience excited minute to minute. It also had to quickly dig deeper into the culture, show things that would be impossible for the average tourist to know. So in each city, we connected with a true local. In Hanoi, we walked around with our fixer Trung Del for about 10 hours, finding the best places to go, the best things to eat, and the best people to talk to. Learning a city from the inside out is the only way to do it. Woo! Next week on Friday, we'll be broadcasting live from Cebu in the Philippines. <laughs> Each video in Adventure Live had to be only one shot, no cuts and no redos. So all the elements had to be close to each other for filming, almost impossibly close. We made treasure maps for each adventure and would practice the timing going from place to place, over and over and over and In Cebu, we wanted to live stream from a jet ski to a boat and then back, but it just took way too long to get there. So we brought the boat right next to the shore and brought all of our elements onto the same beach, almost like a tasting plate of the culture. And then this happened. After this, we had to give every city a huge ending. Fire Spinning taught us right away that we needed to end each video with something big. A rock band performing, a traditional clown dancing with music, or in Yangon, a breakdancing crew. We heard from our local guide T that there was a spot under the highway in downtown Yangon that breakdancing crews would come and dance for fun every Friday. This had to be in the adventure. There was just something about a huge ending that made it worth it for all the people that stayed to watch to the end. We would ask the final question. What is the craziest thing in the world you would eat? And then have a huge performance as we waited for the answers. The most beautiful place we visited was the Maresa Hills in Lombok. Salty wind blowing across rolling hills just above the ocean at sunset. One huge problem. To stream HD video to Facebook Live, you need a strong 4G signal. And it was nearly impossible on the Oceanside Mountain. We walked the length of the hills for hours and finally found our spot. For the final strength, we had to use our 4G signal booster to complete the coverage. We were rolling, and just then... We knew that rain might be a problem, but there was nowhere to run on the hillside. They say that this kind of rain, it can last like pretty long. It had rained in other cities, <laughs> but never like this. All the performers and the horses waited it out, and when the clouds finally broke, we rode out. One of the things about live video, special effects on screen are not really possible. So we had to translate special effects to real physical props. For the adventure, we created live intro sequences, live logos, a live countdown by Sir Countdown, and most importantly, a live choice board so the audience could pick which way the adventure would go. Each time we would pull back the velvet curtain and reveal the choices for the audience. In Phnom Penh, instead of only using the two options on the choice board, we used all of the Facebook reaction emojis for the audience to decide what creepy crawly our host would eat. Hey, Scorpio! Oh my god, it's so big! Okay, okay, so that was actually really good. In every city, we performed a mini commercial for Toon Protect Travel Air Asia. Pop-up backdrops, props, skateboards, all in the middle of the street or a park. We would rehearse each mini commercial over and over, even at night, just to get it right. Right. 
And the main thing that makes live video different is the interaction. There's something special about talking directly to a host, and something even more special about making the decision of what we'll do completely live. For this, we had to plan multiple activities, some that we ended up not even using, just to prepare for whatever the audience decided. We would count the likes and hearts live on site. And we are going to go. Still walking. Oh my God. And continue the adventure. In the last video, we added a speed round where the first person to answer correctly would win a prize instantly. For the first 50,000 pairs of Bitcoins, what is the name of the song and artist in three, two, one? This took airtight planning, non-stop interaction, and non-stop running. Adventure Live was the first live interactive travel show, but it definitely won't be the last. Live video is coming to your adventures and your daily life, and it's a whole new live world ahead. Should be a wrap.